we're going to sign House Bill 87, and I want to thank the members of the General Assembly who are here with us today. And following that, we will have a brief statement, and then we will entertain your questions. While I believe immigration is an issue that can ideally be identified uh, and addressed and should be addressed at the federal level, this legislation, I believe, is a responsible step forward in the absence of federal action. Illegal immigration places an incredible burden on Georgia taxpayers. With an illegal population that is estimated to be almost one half million, the collective financial cost to our educational, health care, and correctional infrastructure is in the billions. Let me reiterate something important that sometimes gets lost in the media discussions. Illegal immigration is already illegal in the state of Georgia. What this bill does is to protect employers by providing them with a practical mechanism to ensure that they are hiring only those who are eligible for employment. This will level the playing field for Georgia employers and end the practice that places law-abiding operators at an unfair disadvantage. As many of you are aware, this legislation went through several iterations. And thanks to the diligence and hard work of the General Assembly, I believe the final product avoids many of the pitfalls that have been alleged to exist in Arizona's legislation. Some have looked at this bill and tried to decide who the winners and the losers are. From my perspective, the people of Georgia are the winners. Today, we're taking action to uphold the rule of law, to protect employers, to level the playing field for honest employers, and to afford every Georgian his or her best shot at a job, and to protect taxpayers' limited resources by taking an undue burden off of our schools, our hospitals, and our prison system. This is an issue that impacts our schools, it impacts our law enforcement infrastructure, it impacts our, our, our health care infrastructure, and today Governor Deal brought that promise to fruition and, and, and by signing this, this bill into law, and I'm just proud to serve in a state with a, uh, a leader of the integrity of Governor Nathan Deal. Uh, I also want to say thank you to our Speaker of the House here. Uh, whose stalwart leadership through this process. Uh, it, was a, it was a long and arduous process, and, and his, uh, his unwavering leadership made this a reality. Also, Chairman Golick here, who presided over hours and hours and hours of hearings as we worked on, as Governor Deal said, the various iterations of this bill. Uh, he, he was a steady hand in a very tumultuous process. Also, the Senate Majority Leader, Chip Rogers, uh, he's been working on this issue in the state. Uh, starting in 2006 with one of the one of the most comprehensive pieces of immigration reform legislation that's been passed ever in the country uh, it, with SB 529 and, and he again carried that commitment forward by, by shepherding this process to the Senate along with my co-chair of the Immigration Reform Study Committee Chairman Jack Murphy. There's a lot of legislators here that had a, had a, had a role in this process and, and every one of them participated in what was one of the longest, toughest uh, debates that I've ever been a part of. It started back in, in, in August of last year, and we studied this issue for months and months and months. And what we, what we found was this. Now, this isn't simply an immigration issue. We've heard from school officials about the burden that the nearly 500,000 illegal aliens, how, that the burden it places on our school infrastructure. We've heard from the law enforcement community how, how communities are materially less safe because of this problem that's been created by the federal government's inaction over, over three decades. We've heard from hospitals about how they're having a tough time making ends meet because of this additional burden that, that, that's placed on them. We've, we've take, taken steps to remove incentives that bring illegal aliens to the state of Georgia. We've, we've taken tough new enforcement measures to make sure taxpayers aren't funding public benefits that are usurped by illegal aliens. We've taken tough steps to make sure that the number one incentive that brings illegal aliens to Georgia, that's access to, to jobs, is, are, are removed through the, through the implementation of E-Verify in our business community. And I want to close with a, with a statement to our, to our friends in the business community. Georgia has one of the most business-friendly states in the country, largely because of the work that's been done 
over the past eight years by the Republican majority, the men and women you see standing up here today, we're going to continue to have one of the most business friendly states in the country. And to the extent that, uh, that there's concern out there in the business, business community, just know we understand how important business is to our state. Georgia is going to continue to be a business friendly state. HB 87, though, represents our responsibility to watch the taxpayer's bottom line just as the business community vigilantly, bought, vigilantly guards their bottom line. And we believe we've done so in a responsible manner.